Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long. In our previous two videos, we looked at TED Ed. We looked at what is TED Ed, what are the resources available on TED Ed. And then in our most recent video, we looked at how you can create your own lessons on TED Ed. So in this video, we're going to look at how do we get those lessons to our students and how do we review their progress on the TED Ed website. And I've already logged on. So I'm going to go to my lessons, which I've created, which we created in the previous lesson. And there it is. I've already had some people fill out the discussions, some incorrect answers that, but I want to share this with other students. You can click on the share button and here you can copy the link and send this to your students via WhatsApp or through an email. Also share it through social media accounts if you want to, or you can send them a specific email, which will have the link included. So there you can actually type in the addresses and so on. I'm going to copy this link over here and then I'm going to apply it to another account. So yeah, I made my other account. This is a different account. I'm acting as a student over here and I'm in TED Ed and you can see all the lessons that are available and subjects. I'm actually going to come here and put in that special shared link that we copied and I'm going to go to that particular link so that I can start my lesson. So here is the lesson. So I'm going to go through it. I'm going to pretend that I've watched the video. We're going to go to the think part where we can actually go and do some of the questions. And I'm going to give some incorrect answers here. Let's go click on that. We're going to save our answer. It'll tell me if I got it right or not. And I can try it again if I want to, or I can use the video as a hint. I'm going to try it again and get the right one, which is, I think, C. Let's save my answer. There we go. Let's go move on to the next question here, which is faster. We can say SSD is the faster. Let's save that. That's correct. And then we can move on to the next question, which is a discussion question. How do hard drives work? I'll just say they do. Obviously, that's the incorrect answer, but we're just typing in some random text so we can see what it looks like. Let's go to the final question and I'm just going to put in some random text there. Obviously the students will type it in a little bit better than what we do. We're just using this for a demonstration. Save my answer. And now that is done. We can go to the dig deeper section. There we can see all the details of it. We can go to the discussion. And in the discussion, you can see that you've got those topics that we set up. We can view the discussion. We can like this particular discussion. We can go view it, add our own responses to it. So we can like this response. We can go add our own response if we want to. If I want to respond to this or respond to the main thread, we can do that as well. I'm just going to respond and say, I agree with this statement. So I'm just going to say, there's my response. That's great. And so on. You can carry on with all the different discussions. We can go back to our discussions and add more to the others if we so choose. So there we go. I've done the full lesson. Now let's go to the other account, the teacher account, to see what it looks like from that perspective. So yeah, I'm at the teacher account. You'll notice that I've got some notifications that students have been doing my lesson. And there you can see I've got one student that's already done the lesson. And there have been others that weren't registered as student accounts, but did it anonymously. And we can go straight to the review student work. If I click on this link here. And if you scroll down, you can see the status of the different students, what was completed, what the choices were, how many attempts and so on. So you can go review that particular student's responses and then you will see their whole lesson and answers. You can see all their answers and how they did. So you can go through all of these if you want to go to each one specifically. Let's go back to stats. And we can see that there were other st students that used nicknames that also did the lesson and we can see how well they did. Once I'm done, I can click on this download student responses where I can get a CSV file, which you can open up in Excel, which will have a summary of all their responses. Here we have the CSV file. You can see the date that the students did the lesson. So we can make that a bit bigger so you can see the date, what the students' names were, who did the lesson, and you can go and have a look and see what they did for each question. So I've just added random data so you can see all their responses and you can use this obviously to judge if they know the content or not. So just to recap, when you are creating your lesson and you finish doing this, make sure that you share it with your students and once they've all filled in or done the lesson, you can review the student work to see their progress and how well they have received the information. For the other videos we mentioned, as well as more teacher tips, go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you so we can help you in the classroom. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.